Hello readers, welcome to Purple Pebble. Today we are going to read Willa and the Bear. It's a beautiful story by Philomena O'Neill. So let's start reading. Willa loves her ragdoll Rosie. Rosie is extra special, handmade for Willa by Grandma Bibi. Willa and Rosie have picnics in the springtime and pick berries all summer long. Come fall, they gather leaves into piles big enough for them to leap into. When winter comes and the ground glistens with snow, Willa tucks Rosie in cozily for the ride to Grandma's birthday dinner. Krish, krish, the sled slices through the snow. The horse tosses his head in huffs, jingling the reins. Mama, Papa and Willa sit tight as the sled rocks from side to side. They enter the woods just as the sun starts to set. Papa lights a lamp and shadows dance between the trees. I wish we were there, Willa sighs. Let's sing so the journey goes faster, suggests Mama. The sled bounces high over a bump in the road. Willa laughs with delight and snuggles back into her blankets. When Willa reaches down for her doll, she cries out, Rosie's not here! She could be anywhere, hidden in the shadows of trees in a patch of tall grass. Mama and Papa and Villa search and search, but Rosie is nowhere to be found. Frost crackles under their boots and a bitter wind snaps at their faces. It's getting late, says Mama softly, turning Villa back toward the sled. Snork, snork, snuffle, snuffle, sniff, sniff. Missing Rosie hurts much, much more than the stink of cold air against Willa's face. Willa is still thinking of Rosie when the sled stops at last. There, there, sits Grandma Bibi. I have a new present for you. Willa smiles to see the bear that matches Grandpa's new trousers. But Willa can't help wondering about Rosie all alone in the cold, dark woods. Is she lonely? Is she afraid? Papa, a bear! Papa peers outside. He doesn't see a bear, but he does see something. Villa can't believe it. It's Rosie. That bear must be a friend of yours, says Grandma Bibi with a smile. Villa hugs her two friends close. Bye, Grandma Bibi. Bye, Grandpa. Krish, krish. The sled slices the snow once more as Mama, Papa and Villa make their way back home. Shadows move with the swinging of the lamp. Over there, Rosie, says Villa quietly. Do you see that? Willa thinks she recognizes the shaggy round shadow. Villa kisses the small bear that matches Grandpa's trouser. My friend will love you, she whispers. And he does. The end. What a soft, beautiful story. I hope you have liked it. Please be sure to like and subscribe my channel and buy this amazing book to read it later. Bye-bye.